I'm going to do a series on using various uh, design elements in Prezi. This uh, particular episode is going to deal with changing colors. A lot of times you might want to change the colors of the Prezi that you're using, and there's a lot of ways to do it. Uh, some are less involved than others. We'll do the least involved. So this is the default uh, color set right here, what you see here. You see just a couple of elements. Uh, this is what Prezi gives you if you just pick the blank template right at the beginning. And the easiest way to change colors is to go to Colors and Fonts over in the menu, and then you're given some options. You can go. Really, uh, you're, you're not. You're only limited by your imagination in that kind of sense. You can do all sorts of neat things, um, but you know it's still somewhat limiting because you only have these particular options. And so if you want to change things a little bit more, you need to go into the theme wizard. So that's right up above where those options are. And in the theme wizard, you're given all sorts of choices. You can kind of mix and match from all the different elements. So you can pick different colors for your background. You can choose the different kinds of text that you want. And, you know, Prezi says that it's basically impossible, or really hard at least, to come up with colors that don't really work together based on what they've chosen. Um, you know, in my experience, it's probably not quite as difficult as Prezi might lead you to believe in their advertising, but um, it's still, they give you a nice palette to choose from, certainly. And uh, this is probably where most people would check out and say, okay, I'm good, I've got my ability to choose my colors. But there's actually another way to do it, too. And So in order to do that, you need to go over here and you need to click on Manual. And if you come to Manual, you're brought to this kind of scheme right here. And so now uh, you can put in any colors that you want, uh, as long as you know the RGB values for them. RGB is red, green, and blue. And if you put in numbers from 0 to 255 in each of these values, it gives you a different particular combination. And you can get all the uh, millions of colors that you know a VGA monitor can render. But of course, this is really, now you're in the danger zone. You, you can really make some terrible, terrible choices if you're not smart about it. So I'm going to show you one way to kind of get smart about using the correct sorts of colors. And in order to do that, we're going to go to a website. And this website is called colorlovers.com. And color is spelled in the British, so it's C-O-L-O-U-R. And this is just a, a site about colors. And it's got all sorts of different things. It's got patterns. It's got different examples. But we're really interested in these palettes, right? We want to go to palettes, and we're given some options here. If we're planning a wedding, we, we might want wedding palettes, or if we're decorating our home, we might want home palettes. We're going to deal with these web palettes. And I'm going to select this one that says nom de plume just to kind of show you what I'm talking about. And so you're brought to a page that looks like this. And notice that, you know, somebody has spent some time putting these colors together. And I think the pattern works. I don't think it's terrible by any stretch. So what you need is you need these RGB values. So you see, for instance, tan mustard, the RGB is 2. 195, 88, Snow Cherry is 109, 857, blah, 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 blah. And you can either keep this up, or you can write them down, or you can do whatever you really want, but you need those values. And so now if you go back into the Prezi, you can actually put in those values, and as a result, you know, the particular element will take on that particular color that you suggest. I have an ugly background, but that's the kind of point, right? And so we're going to work our way through, and we're going to put the colors in. And there's no real rocket science here. It's really just a matter of choosing the ones that you most want and putting them into place. And you can certainly combine them with other ones from Prezi. Uh, when you want to change your fonts, you can change your fonts over here. You can pick the different fonts that you want. And uh, really, it's just kind of a trial and error process. But with just a little bit of thought and a little bit of help, you'll be able to come up with a color scheme that is uh, not terrible. And not terrible is always good. Plus, a little insider tip here. Uh, if you have your manual colors, but you want to just go back and do something really easy, you can always just go back to the wizard and pick the color that you want out of the wizard. And 
get it that way. So once that's all done, now you've got a Prezi with its own particular color scheme and you can mess around from there. All right, so that's color in Prezi, uh, underlooked and uh, certainly very useful option.